Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hook up a standalone Arduino. Now, I know, well, I'm guessing, almost all of you guys have been looking on you, um, YouTube and Google, Google Pictures, anything you could find to figure out how to hook up a standalone Arduino. And I can guarantee you, you guys probably didn't. Um, you know, it, I've been on YouTube trying to figure this out myself, too. And, you know... As you look on YouTube, you find you find it, but you don't really understand what people are saying, or you really can't see their project, and that kind of sucks because you don't know how to hook it up. Um, and I had that problem, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna make it very very simple and clear because I really want you guys to know how to do this. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a breadboard, some wire. At mega 328 or 168, a resonator, or you can use a crystal, but you're going to need two external 22 picofarad capacitors. And optional is a push button switch. That basically can just restart the program if you don't want to wait for it to end. So you're going to want to put the at mega 328 or 168 into your breadboard, like so. You're then going to want to give it some power. Um, to pin 7, then ground to pin 8 on the same side because the notch is facing to the left. Now, on the other side, you're going to want to take pin 21 just to ground, and pin 22 and 23 are going to go to your positive, just like so. Now, if we go back to the other side with the notch facing to the left, Remember, this is optional. It's, we're going to put the push button switch in. Um, you're going to want to put the push button switch in. Hook the left, um, I guess you could say, like pin of the push button switch to ground, and the right pin to your reset, which is pin one on the add mega. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add the resonator in right here. You're going to just want to pop it in because we're going to take the three wires and hook them up to that mega and the middle pin to the ground. It's kind of blurry, I'm sorry about that. I know I said I was going to make it as clear as I could, but <laughs> that didn't really work out. You're going to want to, and again, this is the notch facing to the left, and the words on the resonator are facing toward you. You're going to want to take the right pin off the resonator and hook it up to the pin right next to the other pin you hooked to ground. Oh, that's better. And you're going to want to take the left pin off the resonator, hook it up right to the other pin that you just sort of hooked up from the resonator to the Arduino. Or at Mega. And then the middle pin goes to ground. And if that didn't make sense, there's just a picture there you can look at. So. And that's that's all you need. I mean, you're done. That's very simple. You get you just, um, give it power, you put a code onto it, and it's going to work. Get your reset pin if you want to reset it. And yeah, that's all you guys need. If this video did not make sense to you, I actually put this schematic at the end of the video just to show you the actual wiring. So here it is. So you got the at mega three two eight or one six eight. Got the power supply, both sides, your reset pin, and your sixteen megahertz resonator. Okay guys. I hope this made sense. I hope it was simple and I hope this is like followable. Like you can actually go out and do this. Um, if it helped you, I want you to please leave a comment, subscribe, and just thanks for watching, guys.